Hey guys, Chris back again with Red Line Survival. Um, so today I wanted to do kind of a fire making video, teaching people how to make fire with, uh, we'll say, a ferro rod. And just because I feel like Throwback Thursday, my actual first pocket knife when I was a kid. Carried this through Boy Scouts, carried it through the Army. It is the cheapest. Swiss Army knife you could ever imagine, but I've had it for years. Um, but so today I wanted to do a, a fire making video uh, to show you guys how to start a fire with uh, a ferro rod, which isn't easy. Uh, no matter what Bear Grylls or Cody Lundeen or Dave Canterbury, I mean, with years and years of practice, you can get it pretty quick, but it's it's a lot harder than it looks just to start a fire with nothing at all so I'm going to show you guys a couple of tips that I use uh, when I'm out hunting or camping or whatever it is that I'm using or whatever it is that I'm doing excuse me uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a fire easier than uh, it can be so uh, on that note, I also wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the subscribership. Right now, I've got 20 subscribers as of shooting this video, and I kind of want to bump that number up. So if I can reach 5,000 subscribers, say by the end of October, I'll have a giveaway. And whoever is the last subscriber, I'll put together some kind of giveaway be it a knife or something like that something that I've, I've used or have seen or think that's really cool I'll be doing a giveaway for that so let's see if we can get to 5,000 subscribers as fast as possible uh, but like I was saying before I'm going to go ahead and do a fire making video for you guys so stay tuned Alright guys, so first I want to let you guys see, uh, I've got my Tinder bundle here, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you that you can start a fire this way, and then I'll show you the easier ways to start a fire uh, with just a couple of things that you can actually pack in your bug out bag. So I've got my ferro rod in one hand, throwback Thursday knife in the other and what you want to do is you want to aim the sparks right to the center of the tinder bundle that's going to give you your best shot of starting a fire now you saw a little flame there and i'm pretty sure over the course of about 10 minutes i could have this whole thing going but when you're in a survival situation time really does matter so I'm going to show you guys something that I take with me uh, that I picked up so inside of here is dryer lint just normal dryer lint you can get from from your dryer um, and then my wife was actually looking on Pinterest and she found out that if you take a toilet paper roll uh, after you've used it and jam it full of toilet paper or jam it full of dryer lint watch what happens doesn't take much the dryer lint keeps going hmm now I'm only using grass today because I don't want to start a huge fire but so you start with that, add your tinder, and voila, there you have fire. Now another thing that you can do for the dryer lint if you don't have a toilet paper roll is you can actually uh, use petroleum jelly, like uh, 
just regular old petroleum jelly or sometimes you can use chapstick but yeah you got that fire going it's not going to go out and all you can do is build from there because of the toilet paper the toilet paper roll tube jammed with dryer lint so I wanted to show you guys that I, I do apologize that I haven't put out the fire making video yet uh, but I, I hope you guys really like this tip leave me a comment down below uh, telling me what your favorite fire starting method is uh, be it a lighter a bow drill things like that I might uh, do a bow drill video uh, on the next one so uh, be on the lookout for that uh, other than that I'd like to say thank you from Chris at Redline Survival you guys have a wonderful rest of your day